Here I am demonstrating wood engraving um, to show our visitors to open studios just how I produce these pictures which are up on the screen. These are all prints from a boxwood block and I engrave my image onto the surface of the boxwood and the cuts that I make are going to be the white areas on the finished print and it's the background that I leave behind which is my printing surface and that will take the black ink when I come to do my prints later and I have to work, it's a bit like producing a negative, a white line process so I'm making my white lines into a black rectangle. I've already darkened up my boxwood block with fountain pen ink so that as I do my engraving I can see the colour of the wood coming through and I can see what I've done. I also have to pencil in a rough outline sketch onto the wood block so that I can see where I'm supposed to go. At the moment I'm engraving a picture which is similar to one I've done before so that I don't have to concentrate quite as hard as I normally would when I'm doing something for the first time and I'm able to chat to people as I go along. I have a selection of very sharp tools which all have pointed ends which I use um, a whole selection of throughout the engraving process. I'm forever picking one up, putting one down, trying another one, doing a few spots with a scorper, a few um, curves with a spit sticker, straight lines with a tint tool or a lozenge graver. They've all got different names and some make broader marks than others but you get a very very rich texture of marks. Now what I'm cutting out is the white bits and um, as I think I've explained before it's the black surface left behind which is to be printed so I can make a beautifully textured image with all these different marks and at the moment I'm doing the forest floor which is bluebells and spring flowers, primroses, glass, bracken and I'm having great fun cutting all these little tiny flowers. I'm just going to put the ink on with my roller, rolling a couple of different directions to make yep. sure I haven't left anything out. Normally I ought to have the block locked in, but not this time because we're just testing. I'll yep. just put the roller down and then find a piece of paper. Yep. Um, put it on gently very without carefully. moving it. Yeah. Very carefully and try to make sure it, she puts it lined up. And then I need to put some packing on top. And then... Put down the big white plate. Oh, that's called a tin pan. Called a tin pan. Wind the handle to wind it under till it's about middle underneath this great yeah. big weight. Gently pulls out the handle till she feels resistance. Holds it and lets it back. Yeah. Then winds it back out. Lift it up, it's very up. carefully takes off the packing, usually newspaper, and very there. carefully, with from one corner, peel it up. There we and are. there you have it, your picture.